Missouri Senator Josh Hawley and other Republicans defeated a push to protect access to birth control and contraceptives in the U.S. Senate today. Two Republican women in the Senate supported the plan, but it still fell short of the 60 votes it needed to pass. Our political editor Mark Maxwell has more on what was in the proposal and what this vote means in an election year. The Right to Contraception Act would block states from banning the sale or transfer of birth control pills. Senator Josh Hawley voted against it, and you can guarantee Democrats will remind you about that vote in their push to beat him in November. Republicans complained that was the whole point. The issues of freedom and privacy are worth fighting for, and this vote today is going to be a record vote. Top Senate on Democrats vote, put Republicans on the spot Wednesday. Routine use contraception should be safe and accessible. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst said she supports birth control, but argued the definitions in this Democratic plan were too broad. It defines contraception so broadly that it likely also includes a right to a chemical abortion pill. This was never about finding real solutions. This was always about fear-mongering and election year stunts. Texas Republican Ted Cruz downplayed the impact of the vote. In just a few minutes, we're going to see Democrats engage in a show vote. This is not a show vote. It's a show us who you are vote, and the American people are watching. While Democrats like Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth insisted personal family planning decisions are truly at stake. Birth control, including Plan B, are under threat. There is no state or territory that bans access to birth control pills. The proposal singles out Missouri and other red states that, quote, infringed on people's ability to access their contraceptive care by violating the free choice provider requirement under the Medicaid program and said states have attempted to define abortion expansively so as to include contraceptives. Many Republicans will say we're being overzealous and that there's no real threat to birth control. Well, they also said we were overreacting when we said Republicans were coming for Roe. Hawley did not uh, rise to debate against the bill on the floor. His office has also not explained his vote against this proposal, not yet. Democratic challenger Lucas Kuhn says Hawley's vote is evidence of his, quote, total obsession with controlling every single part of our lives, including what women do with their bodies and how Missourians build their families.